morning. I'm Joe Graham, and I'm here in the National Firearms Museum with Dr. John Tyson of Denison, Texas, who has recently gifted the museum with a set of fine Dubille rifles. Dr. John, you and I have known each other a long time. That's correct. And it's uh, been a pleasure knowing you, but this gift that you've recently made to the NRA Firearms Museum is certainly spectacular. It's something that the museum will treasure forever and your name will live forever because of that. And one of the things that I think that our viewers might like to know is how did you decide to give your firearms to the National Firearms Museum? This, uh, of course, the rifle that you're holding, the one that we're looking at now, is uh, just the, the is the, is the representative this morning uh, of the nine rifles and uh, these were still uh, from the days of Dubiel from 1975 to 1989. These were the rifles that were still in my possession and I, knowing the reputation of the National Firearms Museum, uh, I wanted to have in a sense a good home for them and where they'd be protected you know, for posterity and others would have the opportunity to look at the rifles, view the rifles, and uh, appreciate what they represent. Now you were a principal in the Dubiel Firearms uh, Corporation, yes. and you guys started manufacturing these rifles in 1979, I believe. No, actually we started in 1975. 75. 75. Okay. Joe, uh, Joe Dubiel and I uh, designed these rifles. We're the, we're the co-patent holders on the rifles. And then we had our, our facility was in Sherman, Texas. Uh, and we manufactured these rifles from uh, 1975 until 1989. Now these rifles were all uh, uh, custom manufactured and you utilize a uh, special patent that you and Mr. Dubiel held jointly. That is correct. Uh, on a bolt that only had a 36 degree lift to it, making it quite fast to recycle. Yes, and we can demonstrate that, I think, easily here. This, the bolt only rotates 36 degrees, and, and, and so the action, and it cocks and cams on the, on the uplift, and then when you, when you fold it back, and you've got your cartridge uh, in the chamber, and you're ready to go. So the, uh, the recycling time is extremely fast as is the lock time. Right, right. And the rifles themselves are extremely accurate, are they not? Extremely accurate, right. So, there were only a few produced, so this gift to the National Firearms Museum makes them extremely rare right. and extremely valuable. Yes. The rifles that are uh, gifted in, uh, in memory, uh, one rifle was uh, in memory of Mr. T.J. Allen from Coleman, Texas, who was a gentleman who loaned me the funds to go to medical school. Uh, the other rifle in memory of is in honor of Dr. Michael Howard, who was my roommate uh, in medical school. And then the uh, third rifle uh, in memory of is for Jeff, uh, in memory of Jeffrey Whitecloud. Jeff was my Native American Indian blood brother, uh, fabulous guy, great guy. Of course, it's a rifle uh, in honor of my wife, Jen, as you mentioned. And the other rifles are uh, donated uh, in honor of my friend Joe Graham. Joe and I have known Thank each you. other uh, for uh, many years, and uh, it's been a more than pleasant relationship. And it's our, for June and I, it's a, it's a pleasure to bring these to the museum and also have the honor to uh, help them uh, to donate these in, in, in your honor. Thank you very much, Dr. John. I really appreciate that, uh, more than you know. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, on behalf of the National Firearms Museum and on behalf of the National Rifle Association, I want to thank you for this gift and thank you for your support and we look forward to seeing you around here at some of our special museum events.
in the coming years. We, uh, June and I look forward to that, and I think we will enjoy those very, uh, very much in the future. Great. Thank you. Thank you.